The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull. Sergeant. Let me guess. Captain Kells sent you? That's right. Well, let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Sergeant Gavel. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Watch your tone, Sergeant. Sir. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food, dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. You hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. You already spoke with Gavel? He questioned the entire unit. None of us saw anything. Look. I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. You really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else, but that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, 10 of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? <laughs> Excuse me, Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Night. Looking for ammunition, weapon bombs. Up for Deegan, I doubt what we need. Copper wire. Could you tell me where. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um, what do you want to know? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. 
Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and, um, vacuum tubes? No, sorry, they just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes? How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. A little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but not this many. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? I don't know, honestly. Why? What happened? It was, uh... It was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself, once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. War tempers the strong and breaks the weak. If that is what happened, he wouldn't be the first. It's not much of a lead. But let's see where it takes us. All right, that's it for today. I need to get back to work. Excuse me. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. He had enough alliance in his foolish ways.
to the base. Open fire. much metal, you tend to stay away from the water.
think we're being stalked. Over there! Get him! Mass Victorium! Hang on, I'll get you some more. Huh? Who's there? Come out. Hey, Clark. What are you doing down here? Okay. What's going on here, Clark? Ugh. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. What up? Stealing food. I'm in logistics. No one even questioned me when I took them out of the terminal. I've been bringing them down here at night to feed the ghouls. It's been working. So far. What do you mean it's been working? Why are you doing this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him, too? Just because of who he is? Was he a feral? What difference does it make? Weren't they all human once? I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away. But we... we kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. What did you expect? You knew what the Brotherhood stood for. But I didn't. Not really. 
Not until that moment. After the battle. I... I needed some time to think. I found this place. And the ghouls. What could I do? Report it, and they'd all be killed. Ignore them, and they'd attack the base. I thought, if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. Do you... Do you think I did the right thing? Do you? I... I don't know anymore. What are you gonna do with them? What do you think we should do? Just... Just let them be. So long as they stay here, they aren't hurting anyone. I don't know yet. It's not easy, is it? And, and what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. turn yourself in. I suppose so. I... I've just received word from Sergeant Gavel. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also, I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, Knight.
else. Now that you've had a chance to roam the Pridlin, what do you think, Knight? She's very impressive. Yes. Quite a feat of engineering, isn't she? It took the Brotherhood's sharpest minds over two years to design, and more than twice that to build. Where was the Pridwin constructed? She was constructed at Adams Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. There was a vast amount of scrap metal and salvageable components there, after we defeated the Enclave. We spent the first two years alone gathering the parts. The rest was spent assembling. It was worth the effort. With the Pridwin in our arsenal, we can mobilize our entire division, sending her anywhere that Elder Maxon wishes her to go. Her presence in the Commonwealth ensures that our mission to defeat the Institute will end in victory. Did the Brotherhood ever build other airships? There were less advanced versions of the ship built on the West Coast a long time ago. Historical records about their current status are in dispute, but we're fairly certain that they were destroyed. In any event, I hope your tour of the Pridwin helped acclimate you to our way of life up here. I think you'll find that the more familiar you become with both her capabilities and her crew, the longer you'll survive as a member of the Brotherhood. Excuse me, Captain Kells. All systems are green. All stations reporting no malfunctions. If you're still interested in helping mold the Brotherhood's future, report to me directly. Delta sequence initiated. Completion time, 14 minutes. Two in the head and they'll stay dead. Sergeant, I still can't believe it. Clark confessed to that whole crazy scheme. I've taken steps to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. And I'll try to be a little more respectful in the future. Noxious fumes are quite revolting. Nostalgic. Sweet. Hey, ready. Be glad to share the burden.
never had an incident on my watch. And I don't want to start today. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth hasn't gotten here yet. Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right this up. This is a rare sight. Calvin's always looking for tools. I heard he'll pay caps if you got them. You have to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please! I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsythe with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Without that cure, Austin will certainly die. If you want a good meal, stop by the Sunshine Diner come morning. I heard one of the kids inside some sort of mutant rat. This looks like a good place to rest.
I'm gonna guess that the residents of this vault didn't even know this section existed. thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. 
A real nice hold. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> Idiot. Keep boarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. Soldier is always prepared.
to some hostile robots today. They were... <sighs> Looks like the mutants have settled two mics north of here, taking over most of the town. Cruz got what he deserved. Captain... Fuck you, Baker. It's been over three... Command, this is 429-er. We have... We ran into some hostile robots today. <sighs> A nest full of death claw eggs. Word came down that the army just unloaded the first... Jeffrey, Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? Word came down. Another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR, I... The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Void Tech Security? Mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. 
he let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault tech security? Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a vault -Tec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose. That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. stuck in the quarantine. and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across me. Austin got bit by a mole rat. They're not sure. Dr. Forsyth. The cure. You found it. How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Only one dose? 
I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangerous vault tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Whatever vault tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-Commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. that weapon. No problem. Get that rifle. Affirmative. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Honor more data to challenge my hypothesis. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there, and if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude, but I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Come along, then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. Oh, it is Monsieur Dance. One day soon we must talk of the technological marvels of the Brotherhood. Sharing technological information isn't permitted. However, if you wish to donate yourself for study, I'm certain our scribes would be pleased. 